Hey guys, Dream here, and welcome back to Star Stable Let's Play. I've been offline for a little bit for a little while because, well, I've had to wait on a couple things and make a few decisions. So first off, I do have my new microphone. The only downside is is that you guys will be able to hear my uh, keyboard. So because I don't have a quiet keyboard, but it's gonna have a better pickup on the sound for my voice. Secondly, my last video was way too long. It was about 30 something minutes long. So I'm going to try to cut this down to about 15 or so minutes and see how that goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the uh, game. So last time we just arrived at Jorvik and we met a couple people here in Moreland and we even met our horse here, Rune Guardian. Or whatever you name your starter horse. Um, I will not go through the key board shortcuts yet until I get past level 5. So I'm pretty sure it may give us a few more keyboard shortcuts before uh, we do anything else. So when we came to Moreland, we met Justin, we met Maya, we met Jenna, Loretta, and Tan. We haven't met anybody else yet, but we're definitely going to go and get started with that. So without further ado, let's go. And of course I'm already near Justin. <clears throat> hey. My dad, Thomas, wanted to meet you. Apparently he wants to ask you about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Kimbell, a nasty boss from the company Jed, is going is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and build luxury condos here. We're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he is as slippery as an eel. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable, near Jenna. You know the girl who showed you at the square track. All right. And now we're going to meet Mr. Thomas, Justin's dad. It's funny that Justin actually just mentions him by his first name. <clears throat> also, let me, go, let me know if you guys prefer me not to read the character text, um, or if you don't want me to have the music in the background or anything. Uh, I'm testing the water here. Also, I'm not as bad of a reader as you may think. Um, <laughs> I just tend to read a little bit awkwardly. All right, so here's Thomas. Hmm. Thank you for coming so fast, Luna. The situation with Mr. Kimbell from Jed is getting out of hand, and I need your help. Oh, hmm. So now we've met Thomas Moreland. <clears throat> I just heard that he has almost convinced the council that Jed has the rights to the land and there's hardly any time left to stop him. Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so they can make a detailed map for the planned dem demolish yeah. planned construction. I'm not going to try and force the words out. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need to pr time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save Moreland Stables? We have to delay Mr. Kimball's surveyors by to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They've, they're setting them up in the area outside the stable, between here and the hills where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. <laughs> All right. If your quest asks you to pick up or find objects, the goal will be marked on your map with the circle. 
Click on the map in the horseshoe menu to bring, or press M to br on your keyboard to make it bigger. So this will give us a little notica notifications here. Oh, huh, interesting. I thought they would have the rest of the area grayed out, but I guess they don't. All right. Come on, Rune Guardian. I know you're going to be slow today. I'm going to see what I can do. So we just got to turn these things off. There's another one over here. And go here. Yeah, I've been offline for too long. My horse is now super sad. But I need to get on so I can do something afterwards. So, all right, Thomas, we're done. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Good work. I truly appreciate it. This will delay them for a while. Now I've said, now I've at least got a little more time to build my case against Mr. Kimball's for the council. Hmm. What am I going to do, Luna? Mr. Kimball is really putting pressure on me with all these legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I had a little more time. Hmm. If he wants to play dirty, I'll show him that he has met his match. Let's see. Right past the blacksmith and up towards the hills. Along the road, there is a power distrib distribution box. Just where the road turns at the construction site. It should be possible to turn off the horrible sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. That should buy some more time. Sorry if you hear some other sounds from around here. Um, I'm getting over having some sinus issues. And yeah, there are a ton of um, little quest things around here that I need to deal with, but we're gonna work slowly, get what we can done. Haha, hmm. ha. I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way from over here. Now I have a bit more time. Just what I needed. Now we don't have to see that horrible Jed sign anymore. Oh, we'll still see it for a little bit. All I need to do is prove that I actually own the land. Then I can stop Mr. Kimball. There is a deed to Moreland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in the castle. I can't find the documents here, but I think that our old accountant, Miss, Mrs. Holtzworth, must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about the, our business. She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the flowers outside her little cottage. Go see her, 
she should be able to tell you where the documents are. You can find her in the Little Wooden College just cottage out just outside the stables, close to the beach. All right. Miss Holdsworth. Okay. Get up and go. And this is a nice little cottage, actually. Alright, so here's Miss Holdsworth. And we have found her house. Why, hello, dear. What can I do for you? Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Moreland's wife, Catherine, died in, the, in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father. And there's a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is, of course, Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this feud has gone for so long. But if anyone has the title deed, it would be old man Jasper. It won't be easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find old man Jasper along the road leading to Fort Penta, close to a wall. Press M on the keyboard to check the mini map to, or check the mini map to open your map. You'll see him as a small green exclamation mark on your map. Good luck, dear. All right, so if I hit M, he's way out here. All right. So, he's all the way out this way. And we're gonna try and go all the way out here. There is a event going on right now. It's the um, Midsummer Festival. So, right now, I'm not going to do anything with that until I'm done with getting to Fort Penta, because I can't really work with it until I open up Fort Penta. Old Jasper's house. Oh. Rune Guardian does not like Jasper. Well, you found me, and now you can leave me alone again. stop right here for now and next time when we come back we will talk with Jasper and see if we can get this whole little deed situation sorted out so just let me know guys what you think about how I'm playing the game so far um, like I said I can't put, do more than maybe 15 minutes at a time and until my horse is faster um, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem so for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.